Hi, she's at Sheikh Moting Middle East and we're here in the desert and we've got a van. Check this out. A Volkswagen Type 2, 1978 this one. Uh, call it a combi, call it a camper van, call it a Volkswagen bus. This one is a Westphalia because they have the camping equipment and the sort of, you know, caravan-y type stuff inside. We're gonna have a look at this one. We've also got something else here for, to uh, look at as well. Uh, Imti's gonna tell you about that one. Yes, I do, Shadal. In fact, I've got something very clever here. This is a Volkswagen Type 2, 1957 single cab pickup. So it's an example of how different the concepts can be. Obviously, this is a commercial vehicle, so it's got a pickup tray in the back. This is completely original on the body. It's a beautiful color. But as you can see, it's a little bit of a resto mod. It's dropped eight and a half inches, and it's got a bored out 2.2 liter the engine in the back. So it's pretty quick as well. I think it's time we took these two beauties for a drive. What do you think, Shazad? Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, Mdishan. I'm already in the car. I've already got my seatbelt on, and I'm here with the owner. Max, uh, this is your car, isn't it? Yeah, I've had this car for a long time. F almost 15 years now. 15 years, this yeah, one? I restored it in London, uh -huh. brought it over, and it's been in Dubai now for almost three years. Yeah, And it's uh, it's enjoying every minute. I see it quite yeah. often. You use it fairly regularly, yeah, right? Yeah, I drive it to work. Not every day, not every day, because it's got no AC, but uh, cooler, <laughs> You've got a little fan, so that's all right. The fan's fine. <laughs> uh, the cooler months, it's it's great, you know. It gets looks everywhere you go. Yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, there are offers to buy it every 20 minutes. <laughs> <I'll bet there. laughs> so yeah. I've never driven one of these. Is there anything I've got to keep in mind? Yeah, it's a, it's a manual gearbox. Yeah. Uh, H-pattern. H-pattern, normal four speed. Uh -huh. uh, your seating position is... Uh, way ahead of where you would be in a normal car. Oh so yeah, because the, 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 the wheels, wheels are here. The wheels are under you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like driving sitting on the front bumper of a normal car. Okay, let's do this yeah. then. Shall we? So, normal clutch, no, no, no synchro mesh and everything. All normal. Yeah. Do I, does it need any revs to start or it'll just start? Just a little, little bit, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Neutral? Neutral, yeah. yeah. Doesn't it? Sounds a bit beefy. Yeah, it yeah. does. Brakes are there. Yeah. There's much less leg space than I'm used yeah. to uh, in cars. So this is so it's that four, yeah. Forward and then That's it. Yeah. Handbrakes there. Hand all right. So and fly off, off handbrake. And uh, nobody behind us. Where's the indicator on this? Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're off. We're this off. is great. It's like driving a dustbin lid. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Yes, oh, nice cheesy change, no problem at all. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's pretty easy to drive, isn't it? Oh man, a little, little bit of play in the steering wheel. <laughs> no, that's not the right one. So go into fourth. What, what gear is that? That's second. That's still second, okay, let's pray. No, that's not third. Where's third? Yeah. Oh, so it's all the way across? Yeah, all the way across. Okay, uh, you know what, let me try that again. So, this is second. This is second. So third. Yeah. Ah, got it, right. Yeah. So it's all the way across into the, to the yeah. top right. There we go. I, we got calibration up to 140 kilometers an hour here. Uh, so how fast does it actually go? Uh, I, I take it about 90 or 100. 90 or 100? Then you can yeah. do this fine, huh? Yeah, it's fine. It's actually, and visibility is amazing on this thing, huh? Yeah. Even though it's got these really small, dinky little mirrors, yeah. I notice you've got the extra view thing on there. The blind spot that helps you park it. That helps you park it, right. Yeah. But otherwise, pretty good yeah. visibility. Yeah. Now, back there, I see a sofa, I see tables. What, what have you got back there? Back there is a little home. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can imagine yourself as a little snail when you're uh -huh. driving this thing. You put your, there's a bed in the back, there's a oh, right. cooker in the back, there's a fridge in the back. So you yeah. could actually go and camp out in this thing, literally. Camp out this is yeah, a camper yeah. van. Yeah, it's a proper camper van. The ride is amazing on this, I'm just noticing. It's, it's pretty smooth, isn't yeah. it? You can get used to the steering. Yeah. The ride itself is very good. And the performance is actually okay. a lot better than I thought, yeah. honestly speaking. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're up to like, we're up to 90 now. Yeah. It's interesting, this is calibrated in kilometers per hour. You said this was from the UK. From the UK, but originally from Germany. Germany, right. Yeah. Wow, and, and you look after it yourself over okay, here? Yeah, I do all the mechanics myself. Uh, Does it need much maintenance? So, no, they're very, very reliable. Uh -huh. You know, it's a box jacket after all. Yeah, no real issues, fairly straightforward yeah. engine and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You do all the servicing and everything yourself? I service myself. Yeah. So do you slow, I mean, we're coming up to a roundabout, you slow down through the gears or just on the brakes? Slow down and then third. We should take the roundabout in second. Otherwise, we're. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Second gear. Yeah. So yeah, just remembering where the wheels are and they're sort of underneath me. Yeah. Yeah, it does lean a bit, doesn't it? Lean a bit, yeah. <laughs> Literally, this is so funny. This is steering wheel. It's so <laughs> <laughs> It's like literally like I'm steering with a dustbin lid. Yeah. So you know when you're like a kid and you get dustbin lids and you pretend you're driving a car? Yeah. This is what this is. Yeah. This is great. But yeah, we've made our way around the roundabout and we're moving in. Shout out to us, Grandma. And the VW. This is great. I've conquered yeah. third gear now. I'll figure that out. Yeah. I'll figure that out. That's good. This is great, but you know what? I'll tell you what, this is actually very easy yeah. and a good laugh to drive. Yeah. And I guess on longer runs it's pretty relaxing. Uh, look, very there's a little relaxing. bit of play on the steering, but otherwise if you can just concentrate on the steering, the car tracks pretty straight, right? Yeah. It's very relaxing. I've been all over Europe in it. It's been around the UK, the Germany, the France, the Holland, the Belgium. Any particular issues with owning it here in, in, our, in our environment, in our climate? It's just... Because uh, that doesn't have AC for a start. There's no AC, so you can use it for about eight months of the year. Uh -huh. uh, I do take it out in the summer because it's, it's always good to take out a car, but it, it's done at six in the morning, you know, when it's still only 35 degrees. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it goes out for about half an hour run every every other week. Just to keep it going. Just to keep it going. Uh, winter but the trim and everything is fine, pretty robust, I guess. Yeah. yeah. This is all original on here. Everything, isn't it? everything yeah, everything's original. It's yeah. As but compared it was. to the other car, this is this dash and everything is original. I think there's a few changes on that one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It'll be quite interesting. Imtishan is going to be driving that one next. Thank you so much, Max, for letting me have a go in this. This is this is <laughs> wonderful. It's like a childhood dream come true. This is brilliant. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. You're welcome. Over to you, Imtishan. See what you make of the other one. And we're here in this amazing 57 restaurant mode. I'm here with the owner, Tom. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, Tom? Um, I live here in Dubai, a bit of a VW nut. I've got this truck, a 57 single cab. I've got a 64 bug here in Dubai as well. And I also drive a Golf R32. Bit so, of a Volkswagen man. I'm a Volkswagen man through and through. Through and through. <laughs> so I got to say, this is an amazing vehicle. I mean, it is dropped. So it's crazy thing is we are lower than this car than we are in the other VW. Yeah. Um, the seating position is what you describe as ape-like. It's yeah, it's ape -like. 57 people one size, I think. So there's no adjustability on the seat. You know, it is the, what it is. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but this is like. <laughs> I feel like a bit like King Kong in this thing. Yeah. How did you put up with this every day if this was your work vehicle to do stuff? I don't know. People got on with it back then, and they didn't moan. You know. Well, yeah, I'm going to mourn in a minute. <laughs> so you said there's a particular way to start this car, which is why the engine is running. Yeah, it just it's, it's got um, 44 dual webbers on the motor, um, and obviously when the engine's a little bit warm, there's a little bit of vapor lock, so it takes a little bit of a. So you just crank it. it. Just crank it. I'm just. Um, there's nothing just special about it. that. You just don't want me starting your car. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the strategy for letting off in this thing? There's a clutch. There's a clutch. Yeah. Manual first gear? Yeah, first gear. This is the handbrake down here. First gear's no, first. Yeah, why does the handbrake look like a garden shed? In here? Yeah, that's so. it. Fly off. Let that off. Yeah. That's first is four. Four, one, two, three, four. That's it, yeah. And where's reverse? Reverse is down and backwards. Oh, so it's like a dog leg. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's and reverse. Then, this is crazy. The amount of play in this gearbox. Yeah. It's like a tennis bag. Exactly, yeah. I feel like I'm serving fat cash. Think of it like a woman, mate. You've got to stroke it in the gear. <laughs> It's too early in the day for that sort of thing. So I can see 33,000 miles on that original? No, I think it's probably around about lies, four times. Lies. So you, yeah. you reckon that much? So yeah. tell us a bit about the engine. So the engine's a 2276cc. Yeah. Um, it's got just little mild heads on it. It's got a mild cam, um, 44 Webers. Yeah. Compression's nine to one. Um, and it just, it's got a different gearbox and it's got a Beetle GT gearbox. So it will cruise at 70 miles an hour. Well, let's put it to the test and yeah. see how it does. So that's first yeah. gear. All right, wish me luck, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it, I'm clutch. There we go. Rev counter, no idea. No idea, no rev, no rev counter. Yeah. We've got two lights on the dash. One's the alternator, one's the all pressure. That's it. Wow. <laughs> you just reach for your knee. To get it. it's, and we're wandering all over the road. All yeah, over the, the road. Has this a is how much play I have to keep it straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is like Dodgem cars. Which it is, is, yeah. It's, yeah. you know. So hang on. What do you do if there's a crosswind? If there's a crosswind, that's when you've got to preempt the wind, you know. You've got to, uh, you've got to be ready, you've got to be happy. Seriously, I'm going to like, uh, keep it straight. Yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah. she's quick, she's quick. She's quicker <laughs> than she looks. 
So am I lugging it now? Yeah, you're lugging it. You're like in third. Yeah. See, I don't like to like rev other people. That's off other people's old cars. Ooh, is the speedo accurate? Um, no, the speedo is not accurate because I've changed the front tyres on this um, to give me some extra clearance in the wheel arch. So I need to get a GPS speedo on my phone and just kind of work out yeah. what the accurate speed is. This is so much fun. It's like being naughty. <laughs> it's just like being naughty. I yeah. love it. I love cars that have so much. I mean, you know the amount of focus I have to have yeah. to talk to the camera, talk to you, is incredible. Because yeah. this is like flying a 747. <laughs> so that's easier, I think. The, 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 the reason you feel strange in this bus is we're actually sitting above the wheels. Yeah. So it is like driving a truck. No, 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 no. I have, I have, I do have previous yeah. commercial vehicles. I've driven high so I'm yeah. used to driving these things. But having said that, you never get over it. It's such a weird feeling. What's with the church pew driving position? Yeah, well, that's just kind of what they had. I mean, they're very early buses like this. Yeah. It was just a bench seat. Yeah. There's no adjustment on the seat. There's a slight bit of adjustment, but it's very small. Um, and obviously, the steering wheel is quite a flat position. Why is it staying the same circumference as the moon? <laughs> Why is it so huge? I don't know. Would they, they have smaller hands in the 50s? I don't know. No power steering, more leverage. Your steering's not bad actually. It's, but when it's moving, it's great, but once you come to a, a halt, yeah. it does feel a bit, you know, it's a bit heavy. Yeah, you know what? Listen, I drive a DeLorean. That is that is power steering by Armstrong. <laughs> At low speed, bloody Colin Chapman. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> but this is surprisingly comfortable. The ride is good. I mean, I think suspension. Yeah, no, it's a suspension in the front. We've got gas shocks. Yeah. Um, it's got a narrowed front beam on here, so the, the, the front beam's been narrowed by four inches. Why? Why would you do that to your car? Because there's disc brakes in front of this, yeah. so it's got Audi, um, what is it? It's got bay window, the same Max's bus, it's got the same disc brakes. I haven't tried the brakes yet. Yeah, the brakes oh, are okay. Pressing, pressing, pressing by the Audi. Yeah. Now you have to put some effort, there's no servo on this, you know? No servo? No servo. Brilliant. So yeah, so the, the front beam's narrowed four inches to give you clearance to be able to lower it. And obviously okay. the disc brakes extend the track anyway, so it yeah. almost balances back out to where it was. So I guess people are looking at this car and thinking, do you have trouble when you have go over speed bumps in Jumeirah and stuff like that? No, you just go over at a slow pace and you're fine. You crab walk? No, no crabbing in this. No crabbing. No it's crabbing. Fine. No crabbing. Would you consider this a stanced car? <laughs> I would I would say this is, you know, it's um tastefully lowered. Tastefully lowered. Yes. You know. It's brilliant. So how long have you had it? And um, I bought it, I've been, I've been looking for one for about the last year and a half. The speedo is dancing, sorry, the fuel thing is dancing all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's just literally a float inside the fuel tank, so yeah, it does change as you go around oh, corners. It's like I'm maxing it out, kind of calm it down a bit. No, no, it's fine. It's, yeah? yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I don't want to get yours into the dunes, it won't be no, so No, it's okay. You, you look quite comfortable driving, it's quite nice. Once it's rolling, yeah, yeah. it feels nice, you know? Famous freaking last words. No. Breaking, breaking, no servos. <laughs> Double trot synchro mesh, right? It's um synchro mesh, yeah. Synchro mesh. So originally this this second. This, look at that, he got it in there. Yeah. So this bus originally would have had um cornering on the door. A crash, would have Whoa, had a, a crash goes. gearbox. Yeah, I don't like those crash boxes. So this one has obviously got a later, it's got a 70s gear beetle gearbox in it with yeah. a with a taller fourth gear. Yeah. Um so that allows you obviously to, you know. I just want to point out as we go right, the alarming smell of petrol on your side of the car. That's fine, it's come out of the fuel tank, don't worry, it's good. What do you mean it's come out of the fuel tank? Why is it coming out of the fuel tank? So the fuel tank in this is a it's a large fuel tank um, with a filler neck. The filler neck hasn't got a pump oh. on it. Oh, carry on, carry on. Yeah. <laughs> We're all slightly high now. But yeah, okay. that's okay, you know, yeah. we like the smell of fuel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so only only right turns in this car. Only right. No, nah, so basically what I'll do is put a breather on there. What happens is the tank's got no baffle inside it, so there's no baffle to stop the fuel swimming around. So there's a rubber fuel neck, and all it does is it just pops out the top. You know, you know, it's like a little bit of fuel smells. Is this like, fixable? It's, of course it's fixable. Absolutely. Why haven't you fixed it? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the new filler neck to come. Uh, so that's on its way from the States at the moment. Then yeah. I'm just going to put it on. That's it. Job done. Happy days. So what's the plan? Are you going to restore it anymore? Leave it as it is? What's um, the plan? I've got, um, I've, got some, I've got some gauges to put in the vehicle. Up here in the panel. It's going to be a red Yeah, because all I've got is speed on fuel. That's and it. this retro sound Bluetooth audio. Which Bluetooth kind of, audio. That's, yeah. kind of, that's the only modern twist inside this bus. Yeah. Um, on, the, on the speedo gate, on the speedo, you have two lights. Yeah. One is the generator, so the fan belt, yep. and obviously the other one's the oil light. Do you so, have a, how do you know if it's overheating? Um, well, basically, what in, in a Volkswagen? A puff of smoke out the back. Well, you're normally on idle. You know, if the engine's really hot, 
you'll see the oil light flickering okay. to let you know the oil pressure's gone down. Yeah. Um, inside the engine bay in this, there's a modification, there's a large 12 inch fan that's sucking air into the engine bay to help the engine cool down. So it's no longer air cooled per se, is it? It's not. Yeah, yeah it's air cooled. Fully air cooled. So you're cooling it with a fan? Yeah, but I'm just getting more air inside the engine bay. Is that it's cheating to me? Cheating? No cheating. cheating. I'm doing everything to help it, you see. Yeah, well, I'm glad that this thing is out on the roads. Yeah. So, do you think you'd ever sell it? Well, this vehicle, um, at the moment, I've got no intention to sell it. I've kind of got it to enjoy. I've always wanted one. So, unless someone makes me a massive offer, yeah. um, I'm, I want to keep it. You know? well, I think you should see it. This car is great. I'd love to see it cruising out the streets. Where do you take it? Just up for a cruise? Or? Um, yeah, I'll drive it to work. I've been driving it to work this week in Dubai Media City. So, yeah. it's got a few people sort of looking it's strangely me. Um, so yes, I mean obviously it's winter time now, so every weekend I'm out driving it around. This is not what it's all about though, is getting people to smile. Yes. To smile. That's what, what do your kids think of this? My little girl, she absolutely loves it. Yeah. Um, so she can sit in the front and she's the uh, legal high. Yeah. Legal high. Yeah, you know, and obviously it was a bit scary for her at first, but she loves it now. I want to tell me about the colour, or slow down a bit, I don't know why we're rocketing around in this old. <laughs> The gearbox is nice actually. Yeah. A little synchro. Um, the colour. Yeah. Is that original? So this this colour is called Seal and Wax Red. Yeah. Um, it was a, a Volkswagen colour from the 50s. Um, on a commercial vehicle, it was special order in 57. Wow, so this so is this is the original colour. Is that how many they made? Um, no, we're, my friend Max is going to try and get me a birth certificate from VW yeah. um, against the chassis number and we should find out that obviously it was a special order. Yeah. But obviously it's been repainted since then, um, but obviously in the original colour. This is the original colour? Amazing! Yeah. Amazing how much more choice there had back there, isn't there? Yeah, well I mean, it's, it's taking a picture of this truck is quite difficult because the shade of red, yeah. it's very hard to get a white balance on this. It's very, very hard to catch it. Yeah, no two pictures almost look the same. Okay. Here we go, here here we we go. go. look at that, look, you can do it, you can do it, look, look at that. <laughs> you know what though, this has been absolutely magic, absolutely love it. So I really enjoyed this. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, no, thank you. you know, hopefully you get to see this car out in the roads of Dubai. I hope you take it out to more things. Yeah, I will do. Don't worry. And um, thank you for having me, you know. Yeah, you know what? If you see him, say hello. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.